Never see that again. <laughs> now, if you're planning a Halloween party or to celebrate spooky season, Georgina Bennett is here with your favourite decorations. Georgina! Hello. I like your outfit, by the way. You look well, great. Well, thank you. I like to dress for the occasion, you know me. <laughs> Imagine how many Halloween decorations you could buy with a million pounds. I know. Now, I think, I just want to say something. They're not all really, really cheap. Some are uh, sort of really? varying levels. So I think you've got to think about, right, what do I really want to keep to bring out year after year? You've got to have I got the space to store yes. it. I don't want you buying this and throwing it away at, after Halloween. That's okay, good, I just want to make that good point. Good point. Uh, but also you've got to decide, am I going to go cosy Halloween or am I going to go downright terrifying? Yes. Mm, this this terrifying. is with pretty terrifying. much that. <laughs> uh, so, so what I've got here are lights for fun uh, section. <laughs> Telling you your fortune. <laughs> If you really want to welcome those guests, those guests, how about having that in your hallway? Yeah. <laughs> so it's activated by movement, so oh, people brilliant. walk by, you know, it's going to go off. So that's pretty uh, that terrifying. That is terrifying. No, but don't turn it back on. I don't like it. I think Spare a bit it. more classy over here. <laughs> these terracotta oh, this light is you, Dermot. Look. Look. Pumpkins, you like these, don't these you? These are nice, nice. Aren't they? I would have those for the whole of the autumn season, personally, not just for Halloween. And the same, really, for this one as well. These uh, are very squash. classy, aren't they? Got squash and pumpkins there. Quite like this, a bit more kitsch. Yeah, and then down here, we've, we've talked about Halloween trees, and so you could actually have these glass lights hanging from your tree. And you can use a remote control for the pumpkin lights. Oh, so I like that. It's quite nice. You can have those dotted around, which I think is yeah. it's quite classy. A little homage nice. for Halloween. Yeah, if you're doing a classy Halloween. Where are they from? Sorry, I don't... So all this section are for, uh, from Lights for Fun, including these. So these are more your outdoor uh, lit up stakes. So again, if you want to go down the kitchen way, that's for those. I like these. I think these are quite fun. <laughs> the little hands. And I feel like with the, the, the ghost stakes, you could actually have them dotted out in the that's front a good garden. Idea. And, and yeah, at night time, it sort of all lights up. So that's all from £15.99. Yeah. Right. Um, I have to say, the next bit, not really my cup of tea. <laughs> But I know a lot of people love these. Right up my street. <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to have all of them transported to your front Thank garden because so I know it's just Thank your kind of thing. Um, so these are all from Amazon. They obviously got blow-up uh, decorations. Now, you do need to bear in mind that when you turn the electricity off, they go down. Really so you've got to think about the energy right. you're using whilst you're doing that. Also, you need to... The, the plugs work outside, outside yeah. but you've got to be able to kind of plug that in, otherwise you're having to do it through a window or yeah. something. So you've got the eyeballs. We've gone from Greek balls to eyeballs. I love it. Um, and then we've got Mr Pumpkin Man, who I really find quite disturbing for some reason. The big guy, isn't he? Yeah, he really is. Yeah. All of these, by the way, are from 15 99 And all the ghosts, the pumpkins and the tombstone all come as well, one like set. Well, the Yeah? Amazing. It's but, but, yours. It's yours. I, I don't like it that much. <laughs> <laughs> that is good. That is fun. <laughs> Uh, and then we're moving on to Asda over here. So we've got... I'm going to show you this one first because my daughter will love this one here. I don't think she'll just use this for Halloween. So this is your Crazy. Harry Potter light. Oh, that's great. So, oh, wow. so many Harry Potter fans out there, obviously. Look at that. Exactly. Great. And then I've got a projector down here, which I'm doing a little party for uh, the kids this, uh, this week. And I quite like the idea of having the lights off in the hallway and having the projector. So I'm going to have to project this onto myself. <laughs> Let's dim the lights there. Here we Let's go. And it's a mo it moves around and it's got oh, various it. different lights. That's there amazing. You, so it's quite you could do that in your bedroom at night, couldn't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. You could. That would be you really could. good. <laughs> I like it. Really and then, of course, we need something for the dog and the cat lovers out there. there so go. these are quite sweet, I think. Here you go, and they light up, obviously. Again, you've got to have them plugged in. If you prefer the ones that make the sounds, you've got the pumpkin here. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. Yeah. Uh, and then a spider. I've never seen a spider skeleton. I don't know whether that's that looks something brilliant. you've seen. That looks so good. Um, so those, these are all from Asda. Um, I'm going to move on to the range here. They've got a, a huge amount of Halloween uh, decorations. I think... The, I mean, I like a spooky this, Halloween. This, this, this but is these me out. are quite disturbing, quite frankly. And if I... Here we go. Oh! He's, oh, he's not, he's not well. working, that one. Let's put this one in here. Are they costumes? It's the way it jiggles that really disturbs me. This one here... Let's turn him on. I'm going to come round the back, actually. Hang on a second. The so green one costumes. as well. No, they are not costumes, Dermot, but if you want to carry it around as a sort of puppet, you could. Yeah. So, again, these are activated by, oh, by movement. How are you? <laughs> I'm sorry for anyone who's petrified of clowns. Um, so these are ones that you can obviously put in your hallway just to, to kind of scare your guests away. Oh, now, if you want these? smaller ones, you've got the animated phone, you've got the skull. <laughs> are you enjoying yourself better? Just sort of having a bit of fun with it. <laughs> um, and the cat, I quite like the spooky candles as well. 
Um, anybody into bulldogs? Fancy a bulldog skeleton? Oh, my yeah. gosh. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> but they are quite freaky, especially that one. They are a little that bit, aren't they? Really yeah. freaky, isn't it? Because I think, actually, it's quite nice to just have little surprise yeah. things dotted around the house. So, for example... Maybe something in the toilet. Oh, always the toilet, yeah. because people aren't expecting it in yes. there, are they? And then down here, you've got your... Your, your, bones. your bones. Bag of bones that you can pair. We actually did our decorations on Monday, and my daughter scared... Because I didn't realise she'd put this creepy man in the window of the toilet downstairs. Came down the next morning and got the... I thought it was someone peering in through the window. It was a shock of my life. Oh my anyway, gosh. so those ones are all from the fair, range. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Well, I know. Yeah, I'm actually a bit worried by nothing how... Nothing but what you've created. She's, she's basically taken on everything <laughs> I do. Um, so over here, we carry on with... Um, uh, is this the range? Is this the range? Yeah, just still this ranging? one here. And I quite like that. I think that's classy. I think it's nice, yeah. yeah. A little bit different. Really like that. I love this. I'm taking this one home. Because obviously, every, when everyone, these are from Flying Tiger, the rest on the door. Um, oh, do you want to have a whack? Do you want to have a bit of a whack? Yes, this is your pinata. It, it has got some chocolates in there. You just hit it. Oh. Hit it, Alison. Oh, I broke the actual thing. You... I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, come on. Oh, that wasn't no. meant to happen. Uh, so these are from Flying Tiger. It does take a while. Trust me, I've had a kid's party and the. It's quite like done, and I've actually broken it. Yeah. All right, it's all right. Um, I'm just going to move on, all right, guys? OK. Um, so we've got B&M yes. over here. There's some sweets, look. Put them in there. I quite like these, because they're, they're, they're not plastic, and so you can fold them down each, each year, but something for the kids to take out trick-or-treating. I think this little guy, the, the, the gonk, Oh, I love them. very cute as well. These are all from B&M, by the way, so very affordable. Little treats, like you can put that on your front doorstep. Yeah, yeah. what about these for the trick-or-treaters? Well, well, I like them because you can fold them down so they're easy to store. Yeah, you do have to that. think about where you're going to put all this stuff. You know, you've got yeah. the Christmas decorations as well. Um, a, a candle there, but of course, be really careful with the kids are around with their costumes on. Incredibly flammable. That's a really good so, point, actually. Yeah, and I think that's maybe one for up high yeah. if you have got kids in the house, or even adults in costumes, because I do like a Halloween costume. I don't yeah. know well, we, we can that. tell that you like. <laughs> Like a Halloween costume. You'd this is love the third it. one I've worn this year. <laughs> There's more to come. Georgina, Georgina thank you thank so you. much. That's That's so helpful. And brilliant, as always. Thank you. Now, if you'd like to get your hands on anything you've seen today, download our free This Morning app and click on Shop the Show. Show. Uh,